Adam Savage on Tested just recently put out a video on a camera mount that he used lock line with. I saw this and I had to make it like this. I love this idea of using one of these Irwin clamps. Not everybody builds the same things in the same way and have the same tools. I don't have a giant mill like Adam does. I don't have belt sanders. I don't have belt grinders. What can one do when you don't have a shop? Well, you build it differently. The way Ben is wired is, is that he knows 3D computer-aided design. He also has 3D printers. Let's make this happen. Now, I'm a nerd among nerds. This is the way I build. I love the way Adam builds it. It's his method. It's what he knows. And it is perfect for him. It's not necessarily perfect for me. And a vast majority of you don't have mills and you aren't able to find a three quarter inch MPT tap. They're expensive. The drill bit alone to make that hole is expensive. Now we're gonna look at the computer aided design part of this. Basically I modeled out the top of the clamp uh, according to the measurements that I had. And then what I started doing was modeling out a piece that would bolt down on top of it. I found that you can download a lot of the models that you need for Lockline if you do a little internet search. Once you have those files in there, they actually have the right MPT thread. Before you design something in 3D, go online and check to see if that model already exists because somebody's probably already done it. And then all you have to do is just check to make sure the dimensions are right. Start making stuff. You can do what's called a boolean. So I removed that thread from the part. If you do this, it's going to be a quite a tight fit as it should be with MPT. But in this case, you want something that bottoms out. And the way I made this happen was, is I just did the boolean, but I offset 0.2 millimeters. So very little tiny bit so that the threads are a little larger and everything threads down into this. Instead of machining it out, I can 3D print it. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and there's also a link to a Patreon. It's a great way to be part of the Dreadmaker community. Access, early access to a lot of the files and stuff, and you want early access to some of the files. We're working on some robots for some A-list actors and i'm going to share the files on how to build your own robot it's going to be seriously cool here's all the pieces now one piece i didn't show you how to model was this one and to be completely honest it's a circle with a hole in it and it's got a taper and that taper matches to the end nozzle of the lock line that shoots right up into the center bolt comes up into that piece there then that piece goes right up into the end of this there and this is where you attach your cold shoe for your camera. This piece will snap onto the lock line, whatever length that you have. That snaps onto the screw-on mount. So what you do is you mount this onto the clamp, you use these as guide holes to drill, and then you tap. Oh, Adam, thank you. I've never used oil when tapping threads into plastic. Honestly, it never occurred to me. Did it once here? Why? Why did I have to find this out now? Dude, that's awesome. Thank you for pointing that out. Sometimes those little tricks make all the difference and I need to thank you for that. Now what I used was an M3 screw. It's what I had on hand. But if you're Imperial, a number four, I believe, is what you would need. It's about the equivalent size. Okay, so there you go. Winning! Winning. I wasn't all that happy with that ledge on the ones that I made. Instead of having that cut out, I just made it 45 degrees. And now this will print with no supports. There you go. Now we've got a clamp and we can mount it down to whatever we want. And this thing is solid. Hopefully I can get some more YouTube videos out because of this. Thank you, Adam.